Now that we have our initial tab design in place, next let's look at building the actual button tab using Storyline States. Now Storyline States are really one of the most important features for providing the visual cues and feedback to your learners. In this case, we'll use the states to create the interactive button tabs that change. Each of these little accent graphics will change when we hover over the graphic or when we click the graphic and we're actually on a selected tab. Now, when you're working with states, though, it's important to understand that while every object contains a normal state, if I come down here in the states tab, every object, this tab graphic, the accent graphic, the text graphic, all start and have a normal state. I can add custom states or default states to any one of these objects, but what I can't do is select these objects and group them and then start creating custom states from there. So we actually have to choose one object to use sort of as the base object and then put the other shapes, the other objects inside of that object. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna ungroup that real quick. Now, since the tab graphic is the largest graphic and it's the most persistent, meaning it's going to be visible throughout all of the different hover states and click states. We're going to use this as the base object. Doesn't always matter which object you choose, but sometimes it will. In this case, it really wouldn't matter, but it's a lot easier to work with with this one big graphic on the bottom. So what I'm going to do then is select my text and my accent. I'm just going to hold the shift key down to click each of those. And I'm going to cut these. I'm going to control X on the keyboard, control X. And I'm just going to cut them to the clipboard. And so they're temporarily gone. Select my tab graphic and then down here in the states tab, right? So the, there's the timeline in the states going to edit the states and then paste them inside of this object's normal states. So we have to first edit the states of the object. So click edit states. And without doing anything else, without clicking anywhere else, I'm just going to press control V and it should paste everything exactly in place as it was when it was actually on the slide. Now I'm going to move this up just a little bit so we can see this. So this is actually, we're actually inside of the graphic. If I click done editing and come back to the timeline, you can see that I only have one object right here. If I move this around, those objects are now part of this graphic. So let me go back to the states and we'll edit the actual states. So edit states. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next tab or the next state, which is the hover state. Now the hover state is the state that your learners will see when they move their cursor over the tab, the tab that uh, shows that, gives that visual change that says, hey, I'm an active link, I'm an active button, you click me, I'm gonna do something. So we created a new state by coming down here and clicking the new state button. The state we wanna work with is actually a built-in state, it's called hover, and it has the properties that automatically but you use the state automatically know to change the cursor, the user's cursor from the black arrow to the little hand pointer indicating that it's an actual link. So hover, add. And the way we want to set this up, the way this is working is that little emphasis graphic up top, that's what changes for each state. So I want to copy that and let's see, just grab it from right here. So if I can't select it because it's right below the text, I can just drag a selection like this, control C to copy and then I'll come over here and paste. Now, if I didn't paste it and I just left this whole tab blank, then what we saw right here, the label one uh, graphic and text would stay the same and it'd be persistent across these tabs unless I change them. I only wanna change the color of this one graphic, so I'm just gonna do that now. So make it something a little bit darker and that works. So we just get a little hover effect right there. Again, just because the text isn't showing here, it will show when we uh, view our file when it's uh, actually published. So let's go ahead and just add one more state and that would be the selected state. So create a new state. And the selected state is just the state that's the active state, you've clicked it, now it's selected, you're showing the content or the, 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 the slide for that particular tab. So we wanna have a different tab, a different color to indicate when you're actually actively on a specific tab. And that's a built-in state as well, so selected. And we'll click add. And I'm gonna paste it again. It doesn't copy it over by default, so Control V to paste it. And now I can come up to Shape Fill and I'll select my selected state. So there's my three states right there. Again, the text isn't showing, 
But when we preview it, so preview the slide, it's going to carry over. I click, and then there it is. So it's all set up. Go ahead and click Close Preview to return to your slide.